Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed the forms in Dynamic CRM. If you did not watch our previous videos, please check the link in the description. Today, we will see what fields and data types are in Dynamics 365. Let's get started. First navigate to the Dynamic CRM interface. In the Sales Hub home screen, click the Settings gear icon. Then select the advanced settings. From the settings menu, open solutions and open your solution where you want to do customization. As in our previous video, we were discussing the form. Today we will create the form and add the fields inside it. For that, click on the new button and choose the main form. It is a classic interface for the main form. First, we need to know what the fields are. Fields define the individual data items that can be used to store data in an entity. Fields are sometimes called attributes by developers. To create a new field, click on the new field button in the right bottom corner. The screen will pop up like this here, asking for display name, name, field requirements, and many more. As you can see in the name field, Sino is auto-populated here. It came from your publisher, and Sino is the prefix of our publisher. You can make your field optional, business required, or business recommended. At the bottom, it asks for other details. When you click on field type, it will show the type of form. The first one is the simple field, and the other is the calculated field. First, what is a simple field? Simple field, it contains data that is not based on a formula. And the calculated field, it contains calculations that use fields from the current entity or related parent entities. Let's create one simple field for email. Fill in as required. Now here are more options for data type. First, we need to know what the data type is. A data type is an attribute associated with a piece of data that tells a computer system how to interpret its value. There are mainly 14 data types in Dynamics 365. A single line of text, multiple lines of text, option set, multi-select option set, two options, floating point number, whole number, decimal number, currency, date and time, image, file, lookup, and customer. First, we will start with a single line of text. The format of our field is email. It will give you email validation while submitting a form. The single line of text field can contain up to 4,000 text characters. You can set the maximum length to be less than this. This field has several format options that will change the presentation of the text. These options are email, text, text area, URL, ticker symbol, and phone. Second, the field is the option set. The option set field provides a set of options. Each option has a numeric value and a label. When added to a form, this field displays a control for users to select only one option. When this field is displayed in advance find, users can use a pickless control to select multiple options to include in their search criteria. Let's create an example of an option set. As I'm creating a qualification field, it's now showing a plus button for adding options to your option set. As I have added three options here, each option has some numeric value that you can use in another functionality. The next data type is date and time. The date and time fields have format options to display either date only or date and time. Fill in all the required details and click on save and close. As we have created three fields here, we need to drag and drop them to add them to the form. Now click on save and publish all customizations. You can publish your changes from outside of the solution and also from inside the solution on a form. As I am publishing from the entity, it will take a few minutes, so simply wait for it. Now navigate back to the Dynamics interface and simply refresh it. Now select your entity and to check your customization, click on the new button. So, this form we created a few minutes ago is published here. Name, email, and qualification. For example, as you can see, Qualification is an option set, and the date of birth contains a calendar. An email has validation. Let's create a sample record. Fill in all the required details. If you do not fill in the proper format details in the email field, it will give you an error and ask for a valid email address. It came from the email format field. Select the remaining details and click on Save. So, we have added a custom entity and added the main form here. Now we have configured fields and data types. We will cover the remaining topics in our next video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.